My name is Lauren Haas, and I'm the lead chef for the Chocolate Academies in North America. At the Chocolate Academies, we provide solutions to chefs. So whether that's professional level training, or recipe development, or R&D, or troubleshooting, our job is really to help chefs be their best. So as a chef, I like to take foundational techniques and recombine them in new ways. So having a really good, strong foundation of the classical techniques, and then building upon that, I like to take new technologies, new ingredients, and incorporate them into those classical pastries. I typically stick with pretty traditional flavors, but I do like to be inspired by traveling and flavors from around the world. This is a milk chocolate financier. The first step of making a financier is to brown the butter. Then we add milk chocolate to that. We make very soft meringue with powdered sugar and egg whites. And then we fold that together with our melted butter, chocolate, and we fold in the dry ingredients. I wanted to add a little bit more texture and crunch to the financier, so I made a very traditional streusel. I added cocoa powder and turbinado sugar for crunch. I loved using these exoglass deep tartlet molds from Matver because it has a super even browning. They're really easy to unmold and they have really crisp, beautiful edges. I wanted to add a little bit of a decorative finish and a little more texture and almond flavor. So I created this cocoa almond twill. I put it on top just the last few minutes of baking and let it just kind of melt on top of the financier. This is a matcha cake with a yuzu Meyer lemon curd and a yogurt creme brisee. The matcha cake is a very simple blending method. You take your eggs, sugar, and oil, mix those together, and then you add your dry ingredients. I think matcha has a lot of depth of flavor. I really appreciate There's a slight bitterness at the end, but it's a really rich, beautiful kind of herby flavor. It pairs really well with citrus. I piped the batter into the exoglass oval molds. I chose this mold because I really like this shape. It's super elegant, it's very simple, there's a lot you can do with it in terms of finishing, and this is just the right size for two people. After unmolding the cakes, and then filled it with the yuzu Meyer lemon curd. Yuzu is a great pairing with matcha, and I really like how the Meyer lemon brings out a little bit of extra brightness in it. It's important to have texture in every dish, so for this one I just took some foyetine, white chocolate, lemon zest, and salt, and mixed them all together. This really is the primary element of adding a little bit of salt, which is really important to bring out the citrus, complement the matcha, and make sure that the dessert isn't too sweet. The next component of this dish is a yogurt creme parisienne, also known as a whipped ganache. This is one of my standby recipes because it's super creamy, it's very rich, and it's not too sweet, and there's just a little bit of backbone or tanginess from the yogurt. I pipe the yogurt creme parisienne horizontally. It offers a nice juxtaposition against the long mold. To tie it all together, I really like using this matcha glaze because it just seals everything in and also adds a nice textural element as well when you eat it. This is a chocolate cherry Linzer tart. I modified a traditional Linzer dough recipe by adding cocoa to it because I really like the way that chocolate and cherry pair together. I'm using the exoglass tart rings because they release really beautifully and they have a perfectly even bake. This Linzer cake has a super nice hazelnut flavor and also a really fluffy, moist texture. Hazelnuts are such a classic flavor and it pairs really well with chocolate and cherries. The cherry compote is based on my cherry jam recipe. I just cooked it a little bit lower and I added gelatin to set it instead of pectin so it's a little bit creamier. I added this chocolate hazelnut crunch to provide a little bit more texture, to add a little bit of a salty element. The cherry creme parisienne is the arity cream of this recipe. It adds a nice texture and lightness while also adding that fatty richness and the cherry cuts it with a little bit of acidity. What I love about tarts is it's a self-contained dessert. You know, everything has to be contained within this little shell and there's so many different ways to approach it. I'm continually inspired by different ideas of how to incorporate more textures or more flavors or more techniques into the simple tart.